Good morning. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you again for tuning in and watching. And I wanted to talk about, I always say these things. First of all, I babble a lot. And I kind of go off the subject a little bit. And I also, you know, just kind of go from here and there and everywhere in my video. So, um, I hope you can follow along. And yeah, I'm a little dizzy. And that's okay. It's the way the Lord made me. And glory be to God. So anyway, I dreamt last night that my mother walked in my door and she was singing, These Are the Days of Elijah. And I kind of took that prophetically because anytime I dream of older women, uh, especially gray, gray hair, um, that is a sign of wisdom. If you read in the book of Proverbs, it's the crown of wisdom a gray-headed person is. And my mother, it being my mother, um, she is one of the best women I've ever met in my entire life, if not the best. And I know that these are the days of Elijah. I know that they are. These are the, these are the days where miracles are going to take place and God is really going to say, hey, I exist. This is me. I am real. And this is my glory. This is my glory, saith the Lord. What we're seeing today with the Trump administration um, taking down the deep state, uh, God's hand is completely in this. We uh, are going to have a cure for cancer. It's just a matter of time. We do have a grace window we're in right now. Now, after the grace window's out, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, the Lord hasn't showed me. Uh, I do know that he, he has showed me the harvest. And he has showed me two suns in the sky, twice. And I looked up, um, when God set, shows you something twice, what it means. It means it's ordained by God. That's what that means. And, I, and you can look all this stuff up. I'm encouraging you to. I don't want you to think that this girl's off her, you know, off a rock or my cheese slid off my cracker. I don't want you to think that. Uh, I want you to look these things up. Because two means God ordained. And I had this dream of the two sons twice. And, and then um, there has been other dreams I've had where... Uh, sod was laid down before me and and then someone lifted the sod up they just lifted it up and there were snakes underneath the sod and then they laid the sod back down and sod is usually laid in the spring or in the fall so will this sod be revealed in the fall Will, this, will these snakes be revealed in the fall? Because if you look at the meaning of the Hebrew year of 2019, it means God's light shedding the, uh, shining on the snakes in the grass. That's what 2019 means in the Hebrew year. And uh, what's going to happen in the fall? Kim Clement speaks of the fall. Many will fall in the fall. Um, and I, you know, when I listen to Kim Clement, I get goosebump upon goosebump upon goosebump. This man is for real. He's the only one that I know of where his prophecies are still coming to pass. And then there's Mark Taylor, the presidency prophet, see? But now I haven't read any of his other prophecies. Um... I'm, I'm very cautious on who I listen to um, because it says there's so many false spirits that are going to deceive us in the last days. So please be careful who you listen to. And a true prophet is not popular. They weren't, look at what Jeremiah went through. Um, 
I didn't have, I mean, the ones that I see, you know, Jesus even wasn't popular in his, in his town. So let's think about uh, the true prophet of God. He wasn't even wanted in his town, in Nazareth. He did better when he was out of Nazareth. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I'm going to stop this and edit and see how I do.